There are two types of stop orders you can use, a stop market and a stop limit. Both operate similarly as they are both triggered by the stop price. Stop orders can be used to close a long or short stock position or single leg option position. Stop prices for closing stock orders are triggered by the last price. For option buy to close orders, the stop is triggered by the bid. And for option sell to close orders, the stop is triggered by the ask. In this tutorial, we'll go over how to set up stop orders in all three platforms. To set up a stop order on the desktop platform, first start by lining up a closing trade. The format is the same whether you're setting up a stop for a stock position or single option position. We'll use a short put position as an example. After clicking close position, an order ticket will appear below. First, we'll line up a stop limit order. To set up a stop limit order, click the order type drop down menu. Two fields will appear, a stop price and a limit price. The stop price will act as a trigger and the platform will route a limit order if the bid price reaches or breaches your stop. Then, select a time and force. When you're ready to send the order, click review and send. To set up a stop market order instead, click the order type drop down and select stop market. Again, two fields will appear, a stop price and MKT within the limit price field. The stop price will act as a trigger and route a market order if the bid reaches or breaches your stop. When you're ready to send the order, click review and send. Now, let's take a look at the web browser platform. Stops can only be used for long or short stock positions, so we'll set up a stop for a long stock order in this example. Start by going to the Portfolio tab and line up a closing trade. A closing order ticket will appear. To set up a stop limit order, click the stop limit switch. A stop price field will appear. Enter a stop price. The stop price will act as a trigger. Then enter a limit price. The platform will route a limit order to sell the shares at the specified price if the last price reaches or breaches your stop price. You can also select a time and force such as GTC. When you're ready to send the order, click review and send. To set up a stop market order instead, click the stop market switch. Just like a stop limit order, a stop price field will appear below. Enter a stop price. Since a market order will be sent when the stop is triggered, the limit price field is grayed out. You can also select a time and force. When you're ready to send the order, click review and send. Let's take a look at the mobile platform. Lining up stops for stocks and options are done in two different trade modes, so we'll go over both. We'll start by setting up a stop on a long stock position. Locate the position in your portfolio, tap, and select close. The mobile platform will set up a closing order ticket. Here, in stock mode, tap the order type menu, then tap stop limit. A stop price field will appear immediately below the order type menu. Enter a stop price. The stop price will act as a trigger and the platform will route a limit order if the last price reaches or breaches your stop. Next, select a time and force such as GTC. When you're ready to send the order, tap Review and Send. To enter a stop market order instead, return back to the order type menu, then tap Stop Market. Just like with Stop Limit, a stop price field will appear below. Enter a stop price. Since a market order is sent when the stop is triggered, MKT will be listed in the Limit Price field. Then select a time and force, and when ready, tap Review and Send. Now, let's line up a stop for a single option position using table mode. Let's use a long call as an example. Again, head to the Portfolio tab, locate the position, tap and select Close. To set up a stop limit, tap More, then tap Order Type. Finally, select Stop Limit. Two fields will appear beneath a bid ask spread, a stop price and a limit price field. Enter your stop price. The stop price will act as a trigger and the platform will route a limit order if the ask price reaches or breaches your stop price. When you're ready to send the order, tap review and send. To set up a stop market order instead, return to the order type menu and select stop market. Again, enter a stop price. MKT will appear in the limit price field. The stop price will act as a trigger and route a market order if the ask price reaches or breaches your stop. When you're ready to send the order, tap Review and Send.
To learn more about stop orders, including the advantages and disadvantages of both stop order types, then please visit our help center.